Hello, great to have you with us. Welcome to the distinctive Al Bight Stadium with its tent light structure. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Spain and they take on Costa Rica. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an excited match. Here's the lineup for Spain. Jordi Alba plays with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Coque starts with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And the main striker today is Morata. And here's the starting 11 for Costa Rica. Well, they're going to make themselves very hard to break down. In this formation, the only way you can play is on the back foot. Hopefully, they try to counter-attack with pace and numbers. Otherwise, I can't see them scoring. And now they get the ball rolling. Torres, Koke, now Morata, great opportunity, oh he saved it well. Koke tasked with taking it. And a relatively straightforward save for the keeper. Well, between 2008 and 2012, Spain were right up there with the very best of international teams. They had their barren spell after that, but you know, Stuart, green shoots of recovery were visible at the last European Championship when they were perhaps unlucky not to make it to the final. You're absolutely right. They've got a manager that likes to bring in the young players. They play a style of football that only Spain can play. They've got some excellent technical players in midfield. They are a team that I think can go all the way. But you have to remember they're in a tough group. Germany and Japan are both very good teams. They're going to have to start this tournament well. Moving into the advanced position. Busquets. Oh, what an opportunity. Morata! And just over the bar. Really good effort. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. Cavajal. And back with Morata. 
textbook defending inside the box. On the offensive. A fine reading of the situation. Yeltsin Tejeda. Morata. Now Jordi Alba. Poor pass. Torres. Not the best challenge. Free kick. Played in there. And the keeper was there to make the catch. And getting the ball forward. Superbly read and executed. Morata. Ferran Torres. Morata. Can he make it count? He's blocked it. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. Favouring the short one. Busquets might jump in front. He had to react and did. Koke. Now Morata. Now well, just the tackle that was needed. Space afforded him. But if truth be told, he made it rather straightforward for the keeper. Well, he knows it. That is a real waste of a great opportunity. Well, this has to get better because as those stats confirm, the attack in play from both sides just hasn't been good enough. It's all been a little bit too cautious so far. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Morata! And keeping it out... And Koke with the delivery. Plattered away. Laporte. Danny Olmo with it. They've given it away. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Campbell. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Spain recovering possession well. Committed challenge. Jordi Alba. 
Now he must favour the cross. And the degree of difficulty wasn't all that high in terms of the save. Careless in possession. Morata. Jordi Alba. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Morata. Can they take the lead? Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. One nil then. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Well, he's given us away. Koke. And Torres on the ball. Pedri. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Morata. Bad pass. That's a good-looking ball. Chance to do damage. Mastery of the passing game. Carvajal. Koke with it. And a chance to whip it in here. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. Both substitutes who've been getting ready will come on at the same time. Well, the short corner routine. And the press is on. Okay. Will he find the net? And a goal! Calls for celebrations again. Two in front. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. This looks promising. Yeltsin Tejeda. Excellent defending. Well, no surprise there. Spain have had most of the possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game oh, goes on. Oh, it's developing nicely for them here. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. <laughs> Who can they pick out? And the danger's still on. Well, threat over for now. And foul it is then. <laughs> 
Laporte. This is looking threatening. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. And the pass could do damage. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay onside. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Koke. Five minutes to go. And they know they need to stop him. But timely defending when it mattered. Moreno. Now Busquets. Pedri. Moreno. Opportunity. Moreno. Well, clearly in the mood to make it a double but fine goalkeeping. Well, he's playing really well today. That was another decent attempt. Taken short. And cut again from the flank. Laporte. Now able to close down the short. Moreno. Now Busquets. And it's over now. A win for Spain. It has gone according to their master plan. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them.